With 36 million combined streams and seven consecutive number one hits on the country town Hot 50, Gold Coast-based Casey Barnes is unquestionably one of the most loved and in-demand country music artists in Australia today. He is a multiple a Golden Guitar nominee who won Artist of the Year at the 2020 Gold Coast Music Awards with his single We're Good Together from his album A Town of a Million Dreams that spent more than 90 weeks in the charts and was nominated for an ARIA Award, an APRA Award and multiple Golden Guitar Awards. Casey's latest outstanding single, Kiss Me Like You Mean It, that I just played a minute ago, is the fourth release from his incredible new album entitled Light It Up, and it follows his multi-million streaming hits, God Took His Time On You, Come Turn Me On and Get To Know You. I think it's also impressive to note that the album's title song, was used as the backing track for the AFL's TV promotion that kicked off the 2022 footy season. Uh, Casey recently wrapped up his lighted up national tour that saw him and his excellent band perform for thousands of fans around the country and he will soon kick off a run of festival dates that will take him all over the nation again. His electrifying live shows have been wowing fans everywhere he has performed and he is currently booked to appear at most of the biggest events on the Australian country music calendar including CMC Rocks, Gimpy Music Muster, Groundwater Country Music Festival, Big Country Festival and the iconic Blues Fest. And no, he's not related to Jimmy. Um, I last uh, spoke on the phone with Casey uh, back in April of 2020, so I've been really looking forward to catching up with him today. Anyway, I've kept him waiting long enough, so uh, I think it's uh, best uh, I bring him right on air right now. Hello, Casey. How are you going? G'day, Harry. Thanks for having me back. Oh, you're more than welcome, mate. I'm absolutely thrilled to have you on the show, and uh, a big welcome to the Country Club uh, on this uh, Sunday afternoon. Yeah, it's good It's good to be with you. Um, we're... Um we're up here in Queensland, and it is an absolutely like postcard picture, perfect day up here. So, um, wow. it's, it's amazing for a winter's day. It's very nice. Yeah, well, enjoy it, mate. Um, it's not a real bad day down here in Melbourne. It's not raining, so that's a good thing. It's also unusual. <laughs> yes. But, uh, anyway, look, uh, you know, enjoy it uh, while it lasts. Now, before we get stuck into it, you must be thrilled that your song was selected for. A TV promotion for uh, the AFL. Yeah, definitely. That was a bit of a dream come true. My, you know, two favourite things, um, obviously outside of family, is, is music and um, and footy. I love my footy. Grew up playing, you know, footy and rep footy as a kid. And in down in Tassie, and um, you know, yeah, we, when we wrote Light It Up, I sort of said to the team, this would be perfect, you know, for the AFL and, and Channel 7, you know, decided they loved the song and used it for the for the season promo and, um, yeah, we got to play at the um, MCG for round one and it's a terrific experience and um, definitely won't be forgetting that in a hurry. Oh, that's great. That's uh, that's excellent. Well, you know, well done. So you, you played AFL footy? Yeah, grew up, grew up in Tassie, so I played... Um, I played footy my, my whole life, um, you know, and it started from, I think I was six when I first started playing and and, uh, and then moved up to Queensland in sort of the end of um, 99, I think, around then and played a fair bit of footy up here, played in the premiership with um, Nick Rewalt, who went on to captain St. Kilda. Oh, OK. Yep, yep. Yeah, so I love, love my footy and, and, um, and then it sort of got to a point where it was a bit difficult to to do both, you know, like yeah. um, music sort of took over and I had to make a decision and decided to, to stick with music and, um, yeah, it ended up proving to be the, the right call. Well, you're probably uh, less likely to get your head kicked in <laughs> 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 for doing the music. <laughs> I lost count of how many times I would, um, you know, you'd play a game on the Saturday and then you'd, um, you'd be injured somewhere and then you'd have to go and do a gig that night and you'd be like hobbling around and trying to get back <laughs> on stage and got a bit hard to do you know to do both so I had to yeah. unfortunately get footy away but I still love it I, I meant to mention Nick uh, 
Nick Rewell's got on to um, he's become a bit of a foodie doing a um, you know a food show. Yeah, has he? I know he does a lot of footy commentary, and still see him on Fox Sports and all that sort of stuff. And uh, but yeah, he's he's had a huge career, and he, he was always yeah. a, a freak of a player too. You know, from oh, yeah. And, um, yeah, he was captain of our, our premiership team up at Southport, and um, just incredible talent. So yeah, it was a good experience playing with him. Yeah, I bet it was a very, very, very talented man indeed. Um, uh, but anyway, tell us the story behind uh, "Kiss Me Like You Mean It." Did you write that alone, or was it a co-write? I uh, was a co-write. I, I wrote it. Started off with two writers in America, and we sort of fleshed out the initial idea, and then I took it down to the studio. And the boys that I do a lot of my recording with um, had a bunch of ideas as well, so it ended up becoming. Uh, the five of us that teamed up on that track, and it, and it turned out really, really well. And um, yeah, like it was, it was an obvious choice for the the next single, and it's a good one. Looking forward to putting into our live set, especially with some of these bigger um, festivals coming up in the next month or so. It's going to be, it's going to be great. Excellent, excellent. Oh, that's um, it, it's a great song. Uh, like, like I said at the start, there, it's uh, it's an excellent song. I really, really enjoyed it. It's you know really upbeat and. A little bit poppy, but you know it's got it's got enough country in it to stand up uh, to stand with the best of them, and uh, uh, yeah, I quite enjoy it, and I'm sure a lot of people do, which uh, probably uh, explains why the album is uh, so successful. Um, and uh, you must be very happy with the success of Light It Up at this stage. Yeah, very very happy. Um, it was a long time coming, you know. I wrote a lot of it and recorded it during, you know, much of the, the pandemic, and um, brought it out in February. And yeah, it's been terrific. The support that it's had, and um, you know, we were lucky to debut at number one on the Aria uh, country charts, and cool. um, it's still in the top five even up till now. So it's wow. Yeah, it's going great. It's, it's sort of stuck around, which is always a that's the test. You know, it's it's great to debut in your first week, but stick around for. You know, a few months afterwards, that's the hard part. So we've been lucky that um, people have got on board and, you know, going out and getting... We actually released it on vinyl this time. So okay. we're grabbing it on CD, vinyl, and, and downloading it. And um, it's been great. Well, to be honest, mate, I don't think Luck's got a lot to do with it. I think he put out a good product and, you know, it's uh, been embraced by the public. And that's not surprising because um, uh, it's... You know, the songs I've heard off the album are absolutely top-notch and... Uh, I wouldn't mind getting my hands on that album, actually. If you could, uh, any chance you could send me a CD? Yeah, mate, absolutely. We can do that for sure. All right, I'll send you. I'll text you the uh, the address to send it to, and uh, uh, hopefully um, it'll turn up in the mail before too much longer. Sounds sounds good to me. Because look, I've uh, I've got nearly all the tracks uh, that you've put out that I've heard. Um, in my playlist, and I'm sure there's uh, quite a few other tracks on that album that I would love to put in my playlist to uh, give airplay to. So, you know, uh, the sooner I get it, the better. Absolutely. Yeah, mate, no problem. All right, excellent. No, that's good. Um, now, um, I've got to ask you, how, how did the tour go? How, how long did that last? So, oh, we started it back in February, still going. You know, we started off oh, wow. in Paddy and... Been all over the country. Um, about to kick off into a lot of the bigger festivals now. Um, Gimpy Musters on this month. Uh, CMC Rocks is on next month. Yep. Uh, you know, a few shows in New South Wales. We're back down in Victoria towards the end of the year, and I'm off to America at the end of September to do a bunch of shows overseas. So, very, very busy, mate. It's, um, it's, yeah, it's nice to be back doing live gigs again. Oh yeah, yeah. We've had a. It, it really been knocked in the guts over the last couple of years with live music, haven't we? We sure have. It's been tough, and it's good to have it back again. Absolutely, I agree with you. Um, and uh, you know, it, it's great to be able to go out and you know hear live music again. From my perspective, anyway, um, you know, I, I went to a, a country gig oh, a few weeks ago and interviewed uh, a couple of people that I was uh, chasing to have a chat with, and uh, it was absolutely great. Absolutely great, you know, real buzz, you know, to get up there and, you know, get to a place, have a feed and enjoy some great music, live music on stage. Nothing better. There isn't. It is tough to beat. And, you know, I think we all, I think thanks to the pandemic, I think we all learned how much we um, love it. And, you know, I guess it was tough to do without it. And 
never take it for granted again, I think. You know, if you can get out yep. and see your favourite live act, if they're in your hometown or they're somewhere near you. And, you know, we've got, I've got fans that are incredible. They, they travel around the country and drive for miles to come and see us play. So I, I think without your fans, it's, um, you're nowhere. So, yeah, it's, it's all about supporting them. And um, yep. I'm very grateful to have, you know, the fans that I've got. Well, you, you you've earned them, mate. I mean, that's uh, there's, there's no doubt about it. You don't uh, you don't attract fans if you're a dud. Yeah, we try, <laughs> mate. We we try, we try. We, we just um, yeah, we get out there and have a good time and uh, yeah. make sure the the crowd has a good time too. Well, your reputation is a hard worker, so I mean it, that that pays off, and uh, I'm not surprised that you've got a good following. So you know, but you know, keep it up. You know, there's no reason to slack off just because just because I'm giving you a compliment, eh? Hey? Plan on it, that's for sure. No. <laughs> All right. Um, so tell us where people can buy your music. That's pretty important. So uh, you know, you know, keep uh, keep selling the good stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, if you're into your CD and your vinyl and that sort of thing, you can grab copies off my website or or your local Sanity or JB Hi-Fi. They've got them all there as well. And then you can download it um, iTunes or stream it on Apple Music and Spotify. Um, you know, God Took His Time On You, which is on the current album, just literally ticked over 5 million streams this week. So it's uh, cool. been incredible with the, the support we've had, not just here, but also, you know, like overseas. And, um, it's yeah, that's that's pretty special. So to everyone who's gone out and listened to the songs, I guess, yeah, we're very grateful. Good stuff. Um, yeah, and um, so uh, you heard it there, listeners. That's where you go to buy it. And I'm uh, sure that a lot of you will uh, want to get your hands on... Uh, on uh, the uh, the album, whether it's in uh, CD form or vinyl, it's, as it's now available. So yeah, good stuff. Um, so I, I better um, I better let you go. I know we, we're actually uh, it's it's Sunday. It's a, as I said, a spectacular day here, and we're we're about to go out for um, it's our family family Sunday. So taking the girls out for um, for lunch this afternoon, which should be good. Ah, beautiful. All right. Okay. Um, all right, well, look, uh, can I just ask you one more question? Go for it. Um, what advice would you have for someone just starting out in country music? Um, I'd, look, I would say patience is the biggest piece of advice. To, you know, there's a lot of new artists coming through that um, you sort of think it's going to happen straight away and it's, it often takes a lot of time and you've just got to put the hard work in and keep improving and, um, you know, eventually... If you if you do that, it'll it'll um, click into gear and things will start to happen. That's probably my best best piece of advice. Yeah, it sounds like good advice too. All right, Casey. Look, uh, thank you for taking the time out to have a chat with me, and uh, you know all the best to you and my best regards to your family. And uh, have a have a good day. Enjoy the great weather and uh, you know the good company and everything. And uh, hopefully, I'll uh, talk to you again soon. That'd be great. Thanks, Harry. No worries. Cheers, mate. See you, mate.